back, my friends. Quick update on that X-Class solar flare that just took place a few hours ago and why when solar flares take place in this quadrant of the sun, they have the potential to be just as dangerous as a solar flare that is directly facing towards Earth. Or in other words, coming from the center or the equator of the sun, which is where the Earth is lined up. And I'm going to show you that now. So obviously what we have here is a replica of our solar system. And now, of course, these are not to scale, but I want you to look at the orientation we have here because that's what matters. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here a little bit so we can get closer to the Earth and Sun and get a lineup here similar to what we see with the SDO. And now if we zoom in a little bit past the Earth as if we are the SDO satellite, there we are. That is the exact view you're looking at on your left. So now that we have an idea of where this satellite is lined up and how these solar flares affect Earth, we now understand why the equator of the Sun or CMEs coming from the equator are much more dangerous than CMEs that come from, let's say, the top or the bottom, missing Earth by passing up above it or even below. So the most concerning eruptions, yes, are the ones that come directly from the equator in the center of the sun. But in this case, a CME coming off the bottom right quadrant, normally to most, wouldn't be a concern because that energy was not erupted towards the Earth. But in fact, these are very dangerous. But in order to show that, we need an overhead view. So I'm going to back out a little bit, and then we are going to look overhead and now that we understand the orientation, imagine a solar flare coming off Earth directly from the equator and lined up with Earth. That is the most dangerous situation, which we've talked about many times on this channel. But now as we look at that X-class solar flare erupting in that bottom right quadrant, naturally you would think the energy is going to come off the sun in this direction and in turn miss Earth. But the issue with this particular quadrant is that we happen to be moving in that direction over time. And because of the very unique distance we are from the sun, as they say, we tend to run right into this solar wind within just a few days of the eruption. This chart here goes on to explain that it is caused by interplanetary or Parker spiral field lines, explaining how the solar particles end up falling right into the Earth's orbit later on. Also, jumping over to a very good website, spaceweather.com, not only are they showing a close-up view of sunspot AR3576, which is the culprit of this solar flare, but it also explains this, the danger of sunspots that don't face Earth. Big sunspot AR3576 is about to disappear over the sun's western limb. This makes it uniquely dangerous. Sunspots located near the sun's western limb are magnetically connected to the Earth. The sun's magnetic field spirals around like a lawn sprinkler, a shape known as the Parker spiral, which are lines of magnetic force coming out of the western limb, curve around and touch our planet. And then in that last paragraph, you could see AR3576 is now in the danger zone. Now, this obviously goes into a lot more detail, but in a nutshell, that is what you need to know. And in fact, I learned some new stuff in this video as well. So we're not always out of the woods. Once that threshold of the center of the sun passes the earth, we can still be affected by those solar particles later on down the line. Thank you all so much for taking the time to watch this video. Shout out to Canada, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.